This video is brought to you by Ting. It is mercifully a new year, and generally in January is when TV manufacturers introduce their new TV sets for the years and new technologies that are coming and going to be coming out. And it has been just like acronym alphabet soup the past few years. You've got LED, QLED, OLED, Neo QLED, Mini LED, Micro LED. It is getting impossible to keep up with all of those letters. And at its core, most of the technologies are eerily similar. So today I wanted to take two of those technologies, perhaps the most popular ones out there that you might be considering when you look to get a new TV set and sort of demystify them for you. LED versus QLED help you guys decide which one's right for you. So LED TVs have been around for a while. They're tried and true technologies. And in today's market, they're generally of the less expensive variety. In fact, my main TV in my living room uh, is a Sony LED TV and it's been awesome. They do a lot of things really well, but because they're using backlights to light things up, those lights behind the panel never really ever turn off. So you don't get true blacks. If you're looking at an LED TV, you'll notice it's really dark gray and some version of gray or never black is trying to be represented. Now these TVs are generally pretty good in bright, well-lit rooms where other TVs maybe aren't. But one area you'll notice that they're deficient again is in those black levels. And sometimes when things go from really bright to really dark, you'll get a little bit of like a halo uh, around some of those pictures, but those are kind of in the weeds, hard to notice. If you're just sitting back watching a TV, most modern LED TVs tend to look pretty decent. So QLED on the other hand, and the Q stands for quantum, but essentially a, a layer of quantum dots on top of the LED technologies. And they fix some of the problems with regular LEDs and they tend to be a bit more expensive. So you will get darker blacks, not true black, uh, but definitely darker, the halo things tend to go away, and you also should get better contrast than you get from traditional LED TV sets. And probably the, the biggest selling point for QLED is that they can get a lot brighter than traditional LED TVs, and even uh, OLED sets, these are, tend to be the brightest uh, of all the TVs. So in a lot of ways, QLED is the evolution of LED technology, but it's not the only one. Uh, there's a bunch of other LED tech that's either here or coming. Uh, you might hear the term mini LED. It's technology that a lot of manufacturers are going to be using in the near future. There's another one called micro LED. And we'll talk more about these as they become more consumer available and they're generally in more sets. I want you to know that these are other technologies that are coming that will improve on what LED and even what QLED can do. But for the time being, companies are evolving what QLED is and they're making it even more confusing by adding different names to this QLED technology. So essentially, Samsung has Neo QLED, LG's going with QNED Mini LED, and there's TCL with the new technology called Mini LED that's called OD0. There's a lot of words and terminology and it's confusing uh, when it comes to buy a TV. But for the sake of this video, we wanna let you know the benefits of traditional LED panels versus a newer QLED, regardless of what marketing term the companies decide to throw behind it. So regardless of what TV tech you decide to go with, uh, it's gonna hit your wallet and you're gonna want to save some money. And the folks at Ting have you covered. Ting has really positioned themselves as, I think the best solution for paying for what you use for wireless. It's democratizing the cell phone plan. I challenge you to look at your cell phone bill, look at the gigabytes of data that you're paying for, and then check how much you're using. And if you find a discrepancy there, that's money that you are giving away that should be in your pocket. Pretty much every cell phone uh, is going to work, but Ting's got a checker tool on their website. If you decide to port your number, that is also an insanely simple process. You put in some information, your SIM card shows up, you put the new SIM card in your phone, the port happens automatically, and you are off and running and now saving some money. Uh, they're running off the cell networks that the big carriers use, so you're not getting like a bad signal or a degraded service. They've got 5G now as well. There's really no downside here. You are saving money no matter what. And if you decide to sign up and you go to john.ting.com, uh, they're gonna give you 25 bucks, which depending on your plan could be like 
up to one or two months uh, of free cell phone coverage, which is awesome. So if you're into saving money and you don't wanna sacrifice any of your cell phone quality, check out Ting, and again, I'll put a link to it down below. So if, if QLED is brighter, if QLED offers better black levels, gets rid of halo effects, why would anybody want to go for an LED set? Uh, and the answer is first cost. Generally, they're less expensive sets, but if you have more control over your environment, you might be hard pressed to notice a difference even between an LED and a QLED. So I mentioned my house. My main TV in my house is a 75 inch Sony Z9 D and it's a four year old TV. And I opted to go for LED for a few reasons. First, QLED wasn't out when I bought it. OLED TVs were too expensive in that 75 inch size. And I had really full control over my lighting. And this set has been absolutely amazing and perfect for me. The black levels to my eye when I'm sitting far enough back look plenty black. I've never noticed the set being light. I play plenty of games, I watch sports, I watch movies, and I've never noticed any of the ghosting. These are things that maybe you'll notice if you sit closer to the TV, uh, or you tend to kind of, I guess, pixel peep would be the, the term, really get nice and close. Or if you ever see two TV sets side by side, playing the same image like you do in like a Best Buy, you'd probably notice the difference, but most people don't have that in their house. They just have a set up. And I think right now in 2021, LED technology, especially with local dimming, has gotten so good that if you find a set that looks good to your eyes and is in your budget, you're gonna still bring home a really good TV, even if it's not the most cutting edge technology. Now, having said all of that, on the QLED side, these are beautiful sets that are noticeably brighter. So behind me here is TCL's 2021 6 Series using QLED technology. And the biggest difference that I can tell to my eye watching it comes down to brightness. These sets look much brighter, especially when there's a lot of light coming in and the pictures look contrasty. Overall, generally beautiful sets. Now, if I was getting a TV right now for my main TV set, I would probably opt to spend the extra money if it was in my budget to go for a QLED set. TVs aren't something that people are replacing every year or year and a half or two years like smartphones. Generally they sit in your home for five plus years. And I think QLED gives you more flexibility moving forward. But if you still want a beautiful set, you'd be hard pressed to notice much of a difference. I still think LED is an awesome technology that still has a place in a lot of people's homes. And I think the moral here is I don't have a dog in this fight. And I don't want people to get too caught up on QLED's newer and LED technology uh, is older and I need to have the newest. Um, there's a big case to be made, especially for price sensitive shoppers, that LED is a significantly better value than QLED. Sure, the QLED picture might be brighter, but is it five, six hundred, even thousands of dollars better? That's a tough personal question that only you and kind of your wallet can answer. For me, I don't care what TV you get. As long as you get something new that you like and works for you, it's a perfect set. But I did want to demystify sort of the acronyms that are out there, talk about the technology, at least help you guys figure out and decide which set deserves a spot on your wall.